Hey guys, Too Legit City here. Today we're going to be talking about a mechanic in the game of Fox Should Not Included that is unique to a specific food. Today we're going to be talking about a fully automatic omelet machine. Of course, there is going to be a little bit of duplicate operation if the speed of this is what you're after. However, if waiting for this to become an omelet is optional, and you guys are willing to wait, you guys can allow the eggs to naturally deteriorate. Now, of course, to get it started, let's talk about the raw egg in and of itself. If you guys didn't know, if you guys leave any eggs in a storage bin, in our case, we have fry eggs, otherwise known as Paku, they're going to be losing what's called the viability. Once this viability slowly deteriorates, it's going to become a raw egg and you're going to get eggshells as well. This means that the egg no longer will be able to become a hatched critter and the uh, raw egg and the egg yolks and shells is all you're going to be able to get. This happens accidentally if you guys store the eggs in a storage bin. Otherwise, leaving them in the wild is going to be the best option if you want them to hatch. Now, let's talk about the next thing. When creating an omelet, the raw egg component is going to be the most important factor as the volume of the raw egg in grams is going to determine how many omelets we can make. Going over the different types of critters, let's start at the top with the Pintro. As you can see, a lot of these critter eggs, as you can see right here, is a thousand grams of both eggshell and the raw egg. And there's seemingly no difference between the different eggs. Now that we get to the Shine Nymphs though, and everything part of the Shine Bug tree, we're only going to have a hundred grams of both. That means the shine bugs are arguably the worst source of raw egg or eggshells compared to the other critters. Whilst everything only gives you a thousand of each. Of course, not until we get to the Paku tree. The gulp fry, tropical fry, and the regular Paku all give you 2,000 grams instead of 1,000. And as we go down the line, it's still around a thousand for everything else. 250 from the pufflet tree. And in our case, the Paku eggs are going to be the best option. Now, let's actually look at the omelette's cooking process. As you can see right here, each 1,000 grams of raw egg becomes 2,800 kcals of omelettes. This turns a unedible food into a edible food, and you get a good amount of calories to boot. That means that our one Paku egg that gives us 2,000 grams gives us 5,600 kcals of edible food that the dupes can enjoy. Not only that, if you were to compare the cooked fish and the fish filet, it is a lot more calories than the 1,600 we would have gotten instead. Now let's get to the cooking process. How does a raw egg become an omelet without a duplicate cooking it at the grill? Answer is easy. If you guys didn't know, if you guys heat up the raw egg and have it actually go into a hot environment, it has a unique mechanic as it goes through state change. The raw egg in and of itself, if heated up past 72 degrees Celsius, actually becomes an omelette naturally. This is a unique ability for the raw egg as this is the only food source edible or raw that goes through this process to become a cooked variant of itself. No other food does this, so although you guys can choose to try this with the Paku filet, the meat, anything else, only the raw egg goes through that state change. Now we got a fresh raw egg dropped into our omelet machine right here. This is a simple vacuum with a lot of hot salt water because we want the omelet to have a little bit of flavor. And only thing we're doing is we took the hot water from our saltwater geyser, dumped it into here, and then we also ran the desalinated water that's at 94, 95 degrees Celsius over the water to keep it hot before feeding that out into an electrolyzer. This is a simple process, and by having the raw eggs drop into this pool, you can see it rapidly climbs up in temperature. If we were to look a little bit more closely, the moment this is 72 degrees, it's going to flash into an omelette. And... There we go. Just like that. Now we're going to hold at this. It was 2,000 grams of raw egg, and it became 5,600 kcals of omelettes. This process is identical to the cooking process, 
which means that there is no additional calories generated or calories lost in this version of the cooking process. This means that you could fully make this process automatic without having your dupe sitting at the grill for certain parts of the day and allows you to make omelets at your choosing. Of course, this design is simple. All we have is a auto sweeper with a chute to drop the raw egg that we get from either the egg cracker or if any dupes pick them off of the ground because the eggs are stored and lose viability. And then we ship that away with a loader down there. Everything else in here doesn't really matter as we're just trying to maintain the water temperature. Right behind it, we have a radiant piping set up with a quick shutoff automation to allow the water out once it's cool enough. Now, this variation of the design is only if you guys don't have a steam turbine aqua tuner set up. If you guys have a hot water source, this is going to be somewhat of the design. It doesn't have to be this large as you guys can make a smaller box. The one thing is to maintain a vacuum at the top and have no contact with the liquid lock so that none of the heat dissipates. Of course, I also mentioned that if you guys have a steam turbine aqua tuner combo, you guys could just add in an extra chute, auto sweeper and conveyor have a egg cracker crack the egg so that the raw egg goes into the steam box and you guys can acquire the same effect using something that you guys probably already have in your colony because of the amount of kcals this generates it's a good source of food especially if you farm pakus because of the pakus are going to be laying an egg one egg every 1.5 cycles this is going to be nice if you guys need the kcals but if you guys are looking for morale you guys have some better food options instead. But guys, that has been the automated omelet machine design. If you guys have any questions about this video, leave a comment down below. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And of course, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you, guys.